Hey everyone, uh, my name is Kelvin and welcome to my video tutorial for SVG Font Color Pro. Uh, these are some actions for Adobe Photoshop and they're going to let you easily change the color of an SVG font. Now SVG fonts come in two main flavors. There's colored ones and then there's those black and white ones. This add-on works for both and this video tutorial is going to be basically split into two parts. The first part, I'm going to show you how to use this on a normal black and white SVG font. And then in the second part, I'm going to show you how to use these actions on a colored SVG font. The first thing you should do is download the product folder, and it's a zip file, so go ahead and unzip it. And inside, you'll find a README and the uh, actual action file itself. So this README here, this will have links to this tutorial video as well as my email address, just in case you have any questions. And uh, this file down here, this is the actual actions file, and you can load that from within Photoshop. So I've got Photoshop opened up here. Now to load the actions, to load the toolkit itself, I need to do that from within the actions panel. And I can find that by going to window and then actions. And if you see any actions here, I recommend that you clear those. And uh, click OK. And then you can load new actions by going over here to load actions. And just navigate back to the folder you unzipped and uh, double click on the uh, toolkit here. And it should look just like this. They should be like highlighted buttons. But if they don't, if it looks like this, make sure button mode is enabled. So just go to the little menu in the corner here and then click button mode. So I've already got my text typed in here and this is an SVG font called Opulent and uh, looks pretty good. It's already black and white so I don't have to remove the colors. I can just jump right in and add a gradient. So as long as this original text is selected I can click any one of these and it will throw on a quick gradient. I think this one's probably pretty good. So I'll just click that and it'll take a second to run. All of these effects are non-destructive, so the original text will always be safe down here, uh, and it will just put the result above it. So it's a little bit hard to see on this checkered background, so I'll give it a quick white background to uh, give us some contrast. Uh, the next thing you might want to add is a quick shadow. So just uh, select the gradient text up here, make sure that layer is highlighted. Then you can just add a black shadow, a white shadow, or a color shadow. Um, a color shadow will just base the shadow off the original color of the uh, text here. But for most uses, a black shadow will give pretty good results. So I'll run that one. And uh, there we go. It's given it a quick drop shadow. Uh, you can edit the shadow by opening the group and just selecting the shadow layer here. And then using the uh, Move tool, uh, you can move that shadow around. Uh, you can lower the transparency. And you can even change the uh, Gaussian blur by double-clicking uh, this here. Now these effects are transparent, so if you export them as a PNG, uh, don't forget to uh, hide the background. Uh, and then you can just go over to uh, File, Save for Web, and just export it that way as a PNG. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to turn uh, the black SVG text into a white SVG text. So to do that, I'll just delete all the uh, gradient text and the um, results up here. And uh, I'll just make the original text visible, and I'll give it the white background. Now, if I turn this white, it'll disappear, uh, but we'll give it a quick black background afterwards uh, so we can see this text a little better. So to turn it white, just click on the text and then run one of these scripts down here. Uh, they both will produce really similar results, but you'll have to play around with it. They work a little bit differently. Uh, but for most SVG fonts, this first script will give pretty good results. So I'll click that one to run it. And uh, again, it's turned it white, so we won't be able to see it on the white background. Uh, so I'll turn off that white background and uh, make a quick background, a uh, black one this time. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, the black just gives us the contrast so we can see it in Photoshop. Uh, just don't forget to turn that off when you export it and save it as a PNG. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to make a custom gradient. Uh, so I'll delete our white text over here and uh, give us the white background and turn on our original text so we can see it. And uh, I'll click the custom gradient script. And uh, at some point, it'll prompt you, and uh, it'll ask you if you want to make a new layer. Just click OK, uh, and then it'll ask you what kind of gradient you want. So you can customize that gradient by just double-clicking uh, this here. And uh, then you can choose your gradient uh, from up here, or you can create a custom one down here using these sliders. But uh, for now, I think that one looks pretty good. And uh, just click OK, and then OK again, uh, and it will flatten everything and turn it into one merged layer. Now, the next thing I'll show you, the last thing here, is going to be the custom color. So I'll delete the custom gradient and uh, turn on our original text once again. And uh, I'll go and click Custom Color. And similar to the custom gradient, it'll kind of 
ask you at some point which color you want. So it'll just use the normal Photoshop color picker. So I'll choose something like that. I think that looks pretty good. And when you're ready, when it's uh, what you want, just click OK. And uh, it'll wrap it up and then merge all those layers once again uh, into one layer here. And uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, text, the SVG text that's already black and white. Uh, I'm going to start over from scratch in the next part of the tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to use these effects on a colored SVG typeface. So here's some colored uh, SVG text. Uh, this is a font called Pop Sky, and uh, it has all these colored parts already in it. But to use these scripts, you need to first remove the color. So just select uh, the layer where the text is and just click remove all colors and uh, that'll take a second to run but what it will do is it will remove all colors including white and just turn the uh, the final result here into sort of like different uh, layers of transparency so the more white the more transparent it is and the uh, less white the more darker black it'll be let's give it a white background so we can see it a little bit better and uh, it's the same process as before uh, just select the text that you want to edit and you can just click one of these quick gradients maybe pineapple and uh, it'll apply the effect and uh, put the result on top and uh, leave the original alone and uh, you can also turn it white the same way so I'll uh, hide that or actually I'll just delete that and go back to the original one here that we converted to uh, pure black and uh, let's give it a uh, black background and um, I'll select this text here and uh, I'll flip it. I'll turn white via inversion and uh, that'll give us some good results. There we go, that looks pretty good. And you can see it preserves the shades. And uh, just like before, if you're gonna export this as a PNG and use it in Illustrator or another Photoshop document, uh, just make sure that you hide that background uh, so you can get transparent results. So hopefully this is a pretty good overview of how to use this add-on. Uh, just let me know if you have any comments or questions. Uh, my email address is in that readme, uh, readme file. Just send me a message and I'll get right back to you. But uh, other than that, guys, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.